Let's explore variables. The core of any programming language is how values are manipulated. In order to know what it is manipulating, that data has to be referenced or contained somewhere. This is where variables and constants come into play. Simply put, a variable or constant is a container for data. This data could be anything from a simple number, to a line of text, to a complex multidimensional array of information. There are a couple of main kinds of containers for data in PHP. The first is referred to simply as a variable. Picture an empty box. Now fill that up in your mind with anything you like, candy, video games, or words. In this picture, the variable is the box. Inside the box are contained values. We will explore values later in this chapter. For now, we are going to focus on the box. Now take that box, empty it of everything, then fill it up again with something different. You now know why the first kind of container in PHP is named a variable. This is because a variable can contain one thing on one line of code, and the very next line of code can change the contents or value of that variable. Variables are the most often used containers in PHP, simply because of their flexibility. Variables are identified in PHP by prefixing their label or name with a dollar sign. The process of creating a variable is called defining it. So in order to define a variable, you type a dollar sign, then the name of the variable that you are defining. There are two rules for naming variables. First, the name must start with either a letter or an underscore. You cannot start the variable with any other character. Second, the variable can contain only letters, numbers, or underscores. No spaces, no ampersands, percent signs, etc. Only letters, numbers, and underscores. Variables are case sensitive. So this var and this var are two different variables. The next type of container is called a constant. It is just as it sounds. The value of a constant always stays the same. Pitch your box again. Fill it up with keyboards. Now tape the top and dip it in steel. Now the fact that the box contains keyboards will never change. The box's contents are now in fact constant, thus the name. Constants are used only when you never need the value of that container to change. This type of container is not used as much, but it is a powerful part of PHP. Using a constant where you do not want the value to ever change is very useful in places. A constant is defined using the define function. You simply type define, followed by a round bracket, then a double quote, and what you want to name the constant. Constant names follow the same rules as variables do. After the name, another double quote, then a comma, then the value of that constant in double quotes. You end the function call with a closing round bracket and, of course, a semicolon. Typically, when choosing a name for a constant, you should use uppercase characters for the name to distinguish between the constants and the variables in your scripts. As simple as these two concepts seem, they are the basis for which all the rest of programming in PHP will be formed. Watch this movie over and over again until you understand what a variable and constant are and how they are defined. You will use this procedure over and over and over and over again in every single script you will ever write. So if you do not understand this from the start, you will have a very hard time learning anything else in PHP.